to like get your get your phone or a laptop. I'm gonna grab a laptop real quick. Got it. And from here, you're gonna search in your wireless connections and look for <laughs> something that looks kind of crazy. Bam, bam, explosion, computer, Pwn Pie. Connect to that network. The wireless password will be this guy right here. Let me show you. Yeah, there it is right there. PSK is MAME82, blah, blah, blah. You got it right there. And once you're connected, we're gonna go to this URL, which by the way, this is so cool, right? Because you can be on your phone, laptop or whatever, set this guy somewhere. I mean, obviously plug it into someone's computer, walk away within range and connect to it. So let's do that. 172.24.0.1 port 8000. There it is, that's easy. Now right from the start, it's already pretty cool. We could also, if we wanted to, SSH into it. It'll be root at the IP address and the default password will be tor, backward reverse root, so T-O-O-R. And you can tell from here that we're actually using Kali Linux. Bet you didn't know that, didn't see that coming. How exciting is this? And whether you wanna use the terminal or the GUI, it's your choice, pick your poison, but I'll show you some GUI because it's more visual and we're, we're doing a visual thing right now, we're making a video. I can't cover everything, but I'll show you how I can jiggle my mouse on my computer. <laughs> you wanna see that? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go to the HID script menu option. Now the main difference between this bad or bad USB and the Ducky is that the Ducky uses Ducky script, which is this custom thing that Hack5 came up with. This guy uses HID script, which is, I think, a standard, and it's written in JavaScript. So really you can just do whatever you want. I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, it's right here, you can see it. And actually I just noticed this, you can import a Ducky script and it'll just translate it for you. And why that's valuable is because, check this out. There's a huge library of Ducky script payloads that the community creates. So you could use this here. Anyways, I'm gonna load and prepend something. I'm gonna do the HID test, click okay. <coughs> now watch my computer here, watch it, the one it's plugged into, I'm gonna run it. Oh. Stuff's happening. I'm not doing anything. Look at that. This is just a test, right? All right, so I can stop at any time. I'm gonna stop it. Oof, stop. But how cool was that? And there are also Pwn Pie payloads that are designed to do some crazy things. I haven't tested all of these, but a lot of things you could possibly do, like capturing logins, disabling security, grabbing passwords, a good old Rick Roll, PowerShell, Reverse Shell, exfiltration, you name it.